How's it going everybody? Caleb here again from Toxic Turtle Toys and Collectibles and uh, we're going to do another unboxing video here today. This time we're going to do Marvel Legends, Age of Apocalypse, Build-A-Figure Sugarman, and I've got about seven boxes to open up here. So we're going to go ahead and get right to it. This is Jean Grey and this has the head and I believe back slash body of Sugarman. So we're gonna pop this bad boy or bad girl out and get to building this Sugar Man. Sugar Man's a really cool character, not as popular, but I love the obscure X-Men characters. So we're gonna get right to this. I came right off. There's the head of Sugar Man and the body. Bam. This is just a plain Jane, Jean Grey, not much to it, no interchangeable hands, no accessories, some articulation in the sternum there, but yeah, that's Jean Grey, she's the head, and I'm sure that this figure was literally just made to get the body of Sugar Man there and this Jean Grey is not very standable still haven't invested in any figure stands to do these videos with uh, I should add that uh, in my last video I, I made a mistake uh, I did the strong guy build a figure he's actually back here um, in the video I kept calling him strong man I know the difference. I was also sick with the flu and like 102 fever. So forgive me. So if you catch the strong guy uh, unboxing Build-A-Figure episode, uh, please forgive me. I was just trying to get a knock a video out and sick as a dog. Wasn't even feeling it. Didn't even really want to do it. So, but I did. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, Marvel's Morph. This morph looks way different than the morph I grew up on with the uh, animated series. It's a pretty cool figure though. I always thought morph was a cool character. Thought it was kind of morbid that he uh, got killed in the first episode. Wanting to be brought back of the animated series. But uh, this is not the morph that I remember. So I'll probably do a little more research on how old morph got to be looking like this. This has the leg to Sugar Man here. Ah, again, another plain figure. He's got a cool little cape. Uh, looks like it comes right off. And um, no interchangeable hands. Again, fan of that. Don't like all those interchangeable hands. Or even heads, really. But, uh, yep, there's Morph. Cool little Morph figure here. See if I can get him to stand. That cape helped. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop a couple of these uh, together here on this Sugar Man. So I got pieces just laying around everywhere. So the head goes on right there. And we got a leg here. Looks like the right leg. Let's make sure of that. Man, that's tough. Hmm. That was really tough. Pop that on. Not sure why. There we go. Nope, not yet. Well, I'll get to that leg in a minute. I don't know why that's so hard to pop on. What we got next here? Let's see. Let's get the other leg out. We got Weapon X or Wolverine, whatever you want to call him. Looks like he's got a little interchangeable cuff here for his blades. So, who doesn't know about Wolverine? Probably the most famous X-Men character of all. 
you know, the only person that can play him in the movies is Hugh Jackman, and we all know that. So let's go ahead and get this weapon X out here. Looks like he's got this uh, interchangeable cuff. I guess it's for his uh, little claw hand here. Probably can just pop it off and, yeah, pop it off and no claw for old Weapon X. I don't know why he wouldn't want no claw, but that's okay. I'm not going to change it back right now. <clears throat> I don't think people want to sit here for 20 minutes watching me on open toys. But, you know, here we are. See if I can get this other leg on here for Sugar Man. That first leg was a bitch. Dogs are barking. started building these figures I've never dealt with legs that have been so hard to put on strange I'll mess with that later all right now this guy has four arms I guess we're gonna go ahead and start with the arms first up we'll do x-man here and he's got two of sugar man's arms looks like another Basic figure with no accessories, no interchangeable pieces. And he probably put this wave out literally just to build the Sugar Man figure, which is a, a super cool figure. No doubt. Alright, we've got uh, X Man here. Not crazy familiar with him, I've heard of him, but I'm sure there's some kind of backstory that I'm missing he's got this cool little flame on his eye so there's him get him to stand just leave him against morph here let's see if these arms are As difficult as the legs are these are the top arms it looks like the top arms for this. oh no easy peasy so strange that the legs are so difficult to put on this guy right now these arms popped right in no problem Makes me feel like I'm putting the wrong legs on each side. Maybe that's why. I don't know, they're not lining up. Maybe. Keep coming back to these legs. And I just don't understand why they're so difficult to put on. Maybe I'm stupid and I'm just putting one wrong, but these are just tough as can be. I got that one on. I feel like it's not lining up correctly though. Try so we got so far with the sugar man. He's not complete yet. Got three more to go. Got the back, another pair of arms, and uh, looks like it's hammer. So next we're gonna do Sunfire. This is actually a really cool figure and probably my favorite one so far. It's got that translucent plastic for the flames and such. Ignore my cat. He's being a jerk.
got this uh, Sunfire here. Super cool figure. No accessories. Just a really cool figure. We'll put him right there. here. This looks like the arm that holds his hammer. Boom. I got that in. I love these builder figures though. Especially the ones that are, you know, not that popular of characters. I said in previous videos I've just become obsessed with collecting all the pieces and building the figures so all right next we're gonna do the back this is marbled wild child it looks like it comes with a little chain thing and he's got his little chain with him here somewhere slide it on them like that for now this looks a little bigger than the wild child that I remember but probably from some kind of comic book variant not so much to show wild child and the back sugar man sure how to get this back on because he's got this little belt. So looks like I'm gonna take his arms off here. Just slide this back on. Probably should have done the back sooner. Oh yeah. Better have to take the arms off. Luckily those pop off pretty easy. first right there the bottom arms I really need to figure out how to get these legs on since we're on the last piece well, that like that leg finally popped on pretty easy here you go cool this other one though is being a bitch. I keep hearing a snap, but it is not the leg snapping on. I think I got it. I got it. Look at that. Wow, that was way more difficult than it needed to be. Sugar man. All we need is his hammer, and we are good to go. Um, this is an interesting set, considering the last couple sets have had all kinds of interchangeable pieces and whatnot. So this is a, it's actually a breath of fresh air. I don't have all these accessories or interchangeable hands laying around. It's got a bunch of stiff figures that I don't want to stand. We'll just let it down like that. <laughs> Nobody said these videos were going to be perfect. I'm still new to this. Last up, Marvel's Dark Beast. 
Everybody knows who Beast is, and would you look at that, he's got some interchangeable hands, so apparently I spoke a little too soon on these. But he's got Sugar Man's hammer, so. Actually, this is a really, really sweet figure. I never actually looked at it up close, I just got it because I knew it was a part of the Build-A-Figure series. Look at that, that is a sweet figure. He's got these joints in his shoulders, which is pretty dope. You actually don't see that often in these figures. So that's pretty sweet. It's Dark Beast. And back when I was growing up, they put out a line that had uh, Wolverine as a werewolf. And it had Dark Beast and it had Sugar Man. And they were like, I want to say they were somewhere between six and eight inch figures, which was bigger than the X-Men figures at the time that were in stores, like the ones I got on my wall back here. And I always thought they were cool, but I never got them growing up. So I would like to find those in my, my digs. And Sugar Man's hammer, I don't know if you can see it, but it says sugar on the hammer. Strange legs. Way different legs than what I'm used to in these figures. There he is, Sugar Man. Marvel Legends, Age of Apocalypse, Sugar Man Build a Figure Series. Pretty cool figure. Uh, keep checking out these videos. Obviously, this one was a little chaotic and crazy. I said they can't be perfect. I usually film them by myself. So, and uh, I'm not too savvy with video editing either trying to learn but you know so uh, check us out on Facebook you know we got an eBay store working on a storefront but uh, who knows when that's ever gonna happen got tons of stuff and buying all the vintage stuff all the time vintage modern all the cool toys cards collectibles you know all the good stuff so check us out thanks for watching